Kentucky clover is a newly discovered species, and because of its rarity, the Office of Kentucky Nature Preserves, with funding from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, has developed a plan for restoring populations of this plant. They've asked crew to propagate plants for these restoration projects and to produce seed for banking, both here at Crew and at other seed banks around the country. We initially got in 17, enough seed for 17 plants, and then we've taken that and parlayed that into all of this. And the thing that's special about this clover is it occurred, past tense, in two populations down in Kentucky, but they haven't been seen uh, in surveys recently. So reintroduction efforts to try to reestablish these populations is really necessary. It looks very, very similar to, uh, to European clover, so it's very hard to distinguish, so I think, in the field. Back in the 1700s, there was enough buffalo around to disturb the, uh, um, disturb the habitat, which allowed this plant to flourish. And if you look down there, you have other plants as, such as uh, short goldenrod, which is found today along buffalo traces. These uh, plants may have had a dependency upon the, those animals to keep things um, disturbed, which is where they, they, they thrive. The goal of this project is to support reintroduction efforts. Um, and so our part in this at Crew is working on seed banking and maintaining a clonal collection, meaning through tissue culture and micropropagation, we're able to propagate these plants, root, root them, um, and then acclimatize them. Once they're acclimatized and able to handle being outside of a test tube, we send them up to Boyer, where they continue to grow them and establish them into larger pots so they're just overall stronger. Let's put that in there like that. After we receive the plants from crew, uh, we take them, we let them fill out their pots that they, they, they came in. We actually will label everything. Um, we'll track each individual plant so we know exactly where the, where the genetics are coming from. And then we put them out here to basically finish off. So you can see this is one of our last batch, um, rather young plants that are they're still filling out. But given time, water, and fertilizer, they fill into a very nice plant here. Our goals are to deliver 1,500 uh, clonal propagates to the state of Kentucky, so they're able to plant them back out, um, but also to freeze 5,000 seeds. So this is the Kentucky clover seed. Um, a lot of this seed has actually already been run through the process. They collect the seeds and they go through a seed cleaning process. The little yellowish, brownish dots, those are gonna be the seed. They are very small. <laughs> what we will be doing with those seeds that Boyer gives to us is drying them down and freezing them in liquid nitrogen so we're able to have that stock collection um, for however long we need it. And we're able to collect a massive amount of seed from these populations. With what we have produced at Crew, this little bag has roughly 70,000 seeds in it. We should generate way more than enough seed to satisfy both returning plants to the wild as well as whether we want to preserve them, seed bank them, send them to other institutions. We have acclimatized and sent over a thousand plants up to Boyer and we're getting closer to honing in on the methods that are necessary to store these long term and to really conserve conserve this species. I think with a little bit of helping hand from the zoo uh, and all the, uh, the partners invested into this project, um, we can certainly get this plant back on its feet here uh, in the next few years. Just getting any number of these plants to live healthy uh, in a diverse population out in the wild where they belong, that is my overall goal. And anything we can do at Crew, we're happy to. Happy to be a part of that, especially uh, working with Boyer, that's been really positive, just connecting the two of the research we do in the lab and all of the getting your hands dirty work and that kind of research they do at Boyer. That's what you need to have success in conservation is just best of both worlds. <laughs>